problem today is from random variables and distribution functions see here a continuous random variable has a probability density function f of x as k x into e power minus lambda x where x positive and lambda positive and zero otherwise so first of all we have to determine the value of k and again we have to find out mean and variance and this is how we have to solve what is the function given the function f of x is given as k x into e power minus lambda x where k greater than or equal to 0 and lambda is also positive and 0 otherwise so for finding the value of k we know that see here the total probability is unity so everybody knows that the total probability is equal to that is integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx value is unit a unit value it is unity so now if i calculate the value i'll be getting the value of k now i have to insert the value zero here as the zero is one of the limit so this is minus infinity to zero f of x dx plus this is zero to infinity f of x dx is equal to 1 and see here between 0 to infinity so we have the k value as f of x value as kx into e power minus lambda x and otherwise this value is 0 so this value will be 0 and we got the value from that is integral 0 to infinity what is our uh, f of x f of x is nothing but kx into e power minus lambda x is equal to 1 and see if I take k outside this is 0 to 1 x into e power minus lambda x is equal to 1. So if I apply I late. So this is an algebraic function and this is trigonometric function. So this will be u and this will be v. So if I substitute in integration by paths formula u we have to leave v we have to integrate minus derivative of u integral v dx whole dx so if i use this formula then what happens k times of see u i am going to leave v if i integrate e power minus lambda by minus lambda minus u i have to make a derivative for x this is 1 and v again i have to integrate that is e power minus lambda by minus lambda into dx so which is equal to 1 so again there is an integration here that is k times of this is x e power minus lambda x by minus lambda here minus into minus plus again I have to integrate it here again minus lambda will be there. So this will be minus lambda square between the limits see here between the limits the limits are from 0 to infinity. So if I substitute the upper limit e power infinity is 0 and here also this is 0 and see here k times of so e to the power of infinity is 0 and this is also 0 lower limit x is 0 and for this lower limit minus of minus plus e power 0 by lambda square is equal to 1 so k value is equal to 1 by lambda square is equal to 1 and i got the k value as lambda square so the first question is completed so they asked to find out the determine the value of k and that value is lambda square and the next question here is we have to find out the mean value so for finding the mean mean of the distribution mu is equal to this is minus infinity to plus infinity x into f of x into dx will be the mean value see now i am going to insert zero in between minus infinity to plus infinity that is minus infinity to zero x into f of x dx plus this is zero to plus infinity x into f of x into dx as we have a formula that in between 0 to infinity what is the f of x value from the question f of x value is k x into e power minus lambda x otherwise f of x value will be 0 so mu is equal to 0 to infinity there is x here x into k x k x e power minus lambda x into dx as we have k value as a lambda square 
so we have to substitute k value as lambda square so if i substitute then mu value will be this is 0 to infinity what is our k value lambda square this is again x e power this will be minus lambda x into dx therefore mu value will be so this is lambda square x into x this is x square e power minus lambda x into dx now again integration by parts so this is u and this is v so integration by parts u v dx is nothing but u we have to leave v we have to integrate minus derivative of u integral v dx whole dx so if i substitute in this then the mu value will be so this is lambda square so u i have to leave as it is v i have to integrate e power minus lambda x y x is equal to 1 minus lambda down derivative of u so the derivative of x square is nothing but 2x and again v we have to integrate that is e power minus lambda x by minus lambda into dx see here this will be i'll show you this is again mu is equal to mu is equal to this is lambda square this is x square e power minus lambda by minus lambda minus of minus plus this is 2 by lambda times of x into e power minus lambda x into dx again i am using this formula so this will be u and this will be v and see if i apply the integration by parts x e power minus lambda x by minus lambda this is 2 by lambda so u we have to leave as it is v we have to integrate that is e power minus lambda x by minus lambda minus integral u we have to make a derivative for x this is 1 v we have to make an integration minus lambda x by minus lambda into dx so mu value will be this is lambda square x e power minus lambda x by minus lambda and see this is 2 by lambda times of this is x e power minus lambda x by minus lambda see here we have to make an integration once again so this is minus e power minus lambda x by minus lambda minus of minus plus plus lambda square so here if i multiply with 2 by lambda inside this will be lambda square this is x e power minus lambda x by minus lambda if i multiply this will be 2 x e power minus lambda x by minus lambda square and this if i multiply this will be e power minus lambda x by so this is 2 and this will be lambda cube between the limits 0 to infinity so e to the power of infinity is 0 so mu value will be so mu is equal to lambda times of e power infinity is 0 so the upper limit is 0 and with the lower limit so this is 0 and this is again 0 and this is minus of minus 2 by lambda cube times of e power 0 and see lambda mu is equal to lambda square into 2 by lambda cube so if i cancel for 2 times mu will be this is 2 by lambda so we got the mean of the distribution value the mean mu is equal to this is 2 by lambda so after finding mean now we have to find the variance of the distribution so the next step here is we have to find out the variance variance of the distribution how we have to find the variance so variance is nothing but sigma square is equal to this is minus infinity to plus infinity x square f of x dx minus mu square so again we have to split into two parts so sigma square will be sigma square will be minus infinity to 0 x square f of x dx plus this will be 0 to infinity x square f of x dx and we have the mu value as 2 by lambda 
so this will be 2 by lambda whole square so from the question so this value will be 0 and this f of x value from the question will be just now I'll show you kx into e power minus lambda x so I am going to substitute this one this is 0 to infinity x square k times of so the value here is Show you what is f of x value k x e power minus lambda x into dx minus this is 2 by x whole square so this is whole square so if i multiply this will be what is our k value k value is nothing but so we have k value as uh, this is uh, lambda square so if i send this uh, lambda square outside after substituting the k value this will be x cube e power minus lambda x dx minus 4 by lambda square now we have to make an integration by parts so this is u and this is v again if i substitute in the formulae then sigma square will be this is lambda square u we have to leave and again v we have to integrate Again, whatever we left u, we have to make a derivative. Again, this is integration. Clear? Of dx minus 4 by lambda square. And the next thing here is, lambda square is equal to, this is x cube e power minus lambda x by minus lambda. This is minus of minus plus. This will be 3 by this will be 3 I am bringing outside. This is x square e power minus lambda by minus lambda dx minus 4 by lambda square. Again, this is u and this is v. Again, we have to integrate. So, if I integrate, this is lambda square. This is x cube e power minus lambda x by minus lambda plus 3 times of u we have to leave as it is. V we have to integrate. Again, minus lambda, minus of minus plus lambda. Whatever we left as u, we have to make an integration. That is derivative, that is 2x. And again, minus lambda x by. So, this is a lambda square. Minus this value is 4 by lambda square. And see, lambda square is equal to. So, this value will be x cube e power minus lambda x by minus lambda. And see, this will be 3 times of, see here, this is x square e power minus lambda x by lambda square and this we have to make an integration by parts. So, see, this will be, see here, this is u and this is v. So, I am multiplying with this. So, this is 3 times of this one and if I multiply this will be 6 x into e power minus lambda x by lambda square lambda square into dx minus 4 by lambda square minus 4 by lambda square see here minus 4 by lambda square and see now this will be see here this is lambda square times of this is x cube e power minus lambda x by minus lambda if i multiply this is 3 x square e power minus uh, lambda x by x square and this we have to do by integration by parts so x will be this is u and this is v so this will be minus 6 times of x we have to leave as it is and this will be e power minus lambda x by already there is lambda square minus lambda this will be minus lambda cube minus we have to make a derivative for x and this is minus lambda x by again minus lambda cube of dx minus this is 4 by lambda square and see the next thing here is sigma square is equal to lambda square x cube e power minus lambda x by minus lambda plus 3 x square e power minus lambda x by lambda square if i multiply these two this will be 
minus into minus this is 6x e power minus lambda x by lambda q and see again I have to make an integration so this will be minus e power minus lambda x by minus lambda so this will be lambda power 4 into minus 4 by lambda square so this varies from 0 to infinity so if I substitute infinity then lambda square will be e power infinity 0 e power infinity 0 e power infinity 0 e power infinity 0 the whole upper limit is 0 minus lower limit here x is 0 x is 0 x is 0 and this is minus of minus plus e power 0 by lambda power 4 minus see here there is 6 here so there is a 6 common for these two things so here there will be a 6 here so this will be 6 into e power 0 by lambda power 4 by 4 by lambda square so sigma square is equal to this is a 6 by lambda power 4 minus 4 by lambda square so this will be variance will be if i cancel this for two times 6 lambda square by 4 lambda square therefore the variance is equal to 6 minus 4 by lambda square and this is 2 by lambda square so this is the variance of the distribution so this is nothing but the variance so this is how we have to solve this is also so simple if you follow integration by parts so this is how we have to solve so this is minus 6x and this is minus 6 into e power minus lambda power 4 and this is how we have to solve therefore we got the variance as uh, 2 by lambda square and see we got uh, the value of uh, mean as 2 by lambda and again we got the value of k so we got the value of k as uh, lambda square see these are all the values so we got k value as uh, lambda square mean value as 2 by lambda and see the variance value as 2 by lambda square so this is also most important question and see have a look at this video if you don't understand the steps and definitely you can follow these steps and uh, very easily you can get the solution thank you so much for watching and staying till the end